Well, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to Aunt Jemima. It's time to say goodbye to Uncle Ben. Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we losing Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben? I'm going to get into it, guys. Before I go any further, though, i got to get this out of the way because people always ask me, why do you wear these ridiculous sunglasses? I wear them because I am blind. So there you go. You got your answer. Now, please give the video here a like. Share it across all of your platforms. Subscribe here if you are brand new. Make sure you click the bell to get all notifications. Also, guys, consider sponsoring me on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. You can do so by going over to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Link right down there in the description. Just takes a couple minutes to sign up, guys. Your support means a great deal, especially now with YouTube demonetizing the majority of these videos. Helps me out, throws a couple bucks my way, but you also get my exclusive bonus content where I talk a lot more about sensitive information over there and a lot more content going to be going up over on Patreon because with YouTube, you guys are hardly getting any of the alerts anymore, even with hitting the bell. So if you want to stay up to date with everything that I am putting out, Patreon is going to be your best bet going forward. So thank you guys so much for all of your support with that. Now let's talk here about Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben. Quaker Oats announcing that Aunt Jemima, well, she's going away because of the terrible stereotype depicting Aunt Jemima that's been uh, the cover here. This is going back all the way since the 1920s, but no, no, this is a stereotype. We can't promote this anymore. So Aunt Jemima is going to be rebranded. The name is going to be completely changed. The picture is going to be gone. Oh, this is all to promote, uh, you know, to fight against injustice that's going on right now. We've seen so many companies do this already, but it wasn't just, it was just hours later, hours later than Uncle Ben's Rice announces that they too are going to evolve because, well, we can't have Uncle Ben anymore because that's also a stereotype. So we're gonna have to get rid of his image now from all packaging. Uh, you know, even though the image is of a, you know, a head waiter of a Chicago restaurant, Frank Brown, who has served as a cover here for Uncle Ben's Rice, pretty much the face of Uncle Ben's for the past 10 years. Now, if you want to go back to the origins of Uncle Ben's, it goes all the way back to a, you know, a Texan farmer who had some of the greatest rice you could ever imagine. Uh, but this is all being changed now. Again, these companies, you know, so worried that they're going to be, you know, boycotted, shut down or whatever it is, if they don't cave uh, to the BLM agenda, it, it's so sad. It really is so sad to see this happening. Uh, everything is going to be completely uprooted now. And everybody says, you know, I stand in solidarity, you know, uh, with the black community. You know, what, you know who I stand in solidarity with? You want to know who I stand? You want to know? You want to know? I stand in solidarity with Jesus Christ. Can you say the same? Do you stand in solidarity with Jesus Christ? Or do you stand in solidarity with the world, uh, which is an agenda that is not of God? Just throwing it out there. Let me know what you guys think about this. Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben's going bye-bye. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.